Hey, it's me, LH Music. Welcome to my political life video blog. And I'm back. You know, I'm talking about you know what I'm saying. But anyways, it's good to be back home, so I have no objection whatsoever, so that's all I can say. No. Anyways, if you heard this over the weekend about gun control and all that stuff, here's your worst nightmare. According to the blaze.com, and it says that uh, George's lieutenant governor slams the door on Delta Airlines. Oh, well, everybody knows that how many times that people fly inside an airplane about this one. Take for instance, I, LH Music, uh, uh, when I was, everybody, everybody else, uh, you know, back in my, uh, back in the day, when, when, I, was, when, I, when I was my age, because uh, I used to fly uh, that uh, United Airlines to all the way up to California, all the way up to my hometown, Omaha, Nebraska, and um, and and I uh, uh, that's that's why I rode an uh, air airplane, you know, a fly flying air airplane that uh, you know, uh, U United Airlines, and and it's gonna be huge. Trust me about that. So, so. Well, uh, when I was my age, I uh, gave it to see my grandparents years ago, and um, my dad is, uh, you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, but enough of that, because this, this, this is why I uh, fly an, uh, you know, airplane, you, you know, United Airlines, back in the day, and it, it was years ago, so I cannot believe my eyes and ears. But enough of that. <laughs> But, but enough of that, but it, it doesn't have to be this way. Anyways, um, what was I? Yes, Georgia Lieutenant Governors tried to slam the door on Delta Airlines just for today for joining the campaign against the National, National Rifle Association known as, you guessed it, NRA. And then, and, and you know what he said? He says, says he would back an effort to cut the state cut the state's tax cuts to, to the company. Uh oh. That's that is not good. That is not good enough for this one. So here's what the lieutenant says on his uh, Twitter account. Uh, his name is um, Casey Casey Kegel and um, and this is what he tweeted about. It says Quote this, I will kill any tax legislator, le legislation that benefits Delta unless the company changes its positions and fully reinstates its relationship with NRA. Uh-oh. Now you know that is not right at all. Seriously, you know that is not right at all. But there's more cooperations uh, 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 co corporations cannot attack us conservatives and expected us not to fight but, uh, really Casey how many times you rode an you you fly an airplane how many times did you fly an airplane like this <laughs> I guess you know everything I guess you don't know everything do you Casey here is your worst nightmare ever. Delta. You know, Delta Airlines. You've seen this on, you know, you've seen the commercials, Delta Airline, Airlines, and all that stuff. But here's the, here's the bottom line for you. You know what I'm talking about. Delta has ended its partnership with the NRA. Oh, well, it gave its members to a huge discount to, uh, on, on the airfare. After the shooting in, you guessed it, yeah, you guessed it, Parkland, Florida. Oh, Parkland, Florida. Well, guess what? Here's your worst nightmare. Over the over the last couple of weeks, when I was gone doing Winter Olympics in South Korea on NBC Sports, NBC Sports. Here's your worst nightmare. You know, it took a long time to kill a uh, kill a girl in Park. Land, Florida, and the 
Sheriff Scott says, uh, all that crap. But whatever happens to the NRA? Dana Lash says this. Says this over, uh, you know, last Wednesday's CNN town hall meeting last night. Uh, along with uh, Marco Rubio and um, and it, it pays to be nice to people, whatever it is. But but here's your worst nightmare. Here's here's your here's your worst nightmare. You don't want to know about this one. A campaign for strict stricter gun control centered on the countering you you guessed it the NRA and some on the left. Yeah, those liberal idiotic buffoon Smurfs. What about the Democrats? Well, you guessed it. You know what I'm saying. Tries to blame the gun rights organizations for the massacre. Just so you know that Delta Airlines just released this, just released a huge statement. And it, 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 it defends on its deci decision. But it has to be the framers. It has to be the frame. Yeah. It always reposits it. Re 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 repositioning to the center, not a rejection of the of the NRA. Um, let's not go over this. Seriously, let's not go over this. Here's your worst nightmare. Quote this. The statement. The statement reads. <laughs> The statement reads, uh, state, the statement reads, according to the independent.co.uk, uh, uh, the independent newspaper comes from um, London, England, and it says, Delta's decision the decisions reflecting the airline's neutral state status in the current national debate over gun control and uh, uh, try to uh, and uh, admit recent school shootings shootings but there's more out of respect for our customers and employees and on both sides of the story and Delta has taken this action to refrain, frame, it was a free, refrain, from entering this debate and focusing on its business. Really? How would everybody know about Delta Airlines trying to boy, boycott the NRA? Ugh. Uh, prove me wrong, Delta Airlines. Prove me wrong. Hey, Casey Kangle, I hope you're listening. I hope you listening. This is what happens. Delta continues to support the Second Amendment. What kind of Second Amendment is that? Kind of a second daddy emotion like Smokey Robinson and the Miracles does this in the 60s or where anything else can be civilized. Here's, 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 uh, here's my values for you. It's, quote this. Quote this, I, 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 you know I have the sound bite for you, and I'm, and um, I want you to listen to this, listen to this. Oh, oh, really? But what about this? What about this? Casey Kegel. Kegel. You know darn well that Delta Airlines is a air, is a is a airplane product, and you and you try to fight fight your way for the jobs that everybody knows and, you, and you're sick and tired of us conservatives being pushed around at a time like this. Casey, Casey Ganko, shut up. Wake up. Zip it. You may not gonna hear this, 
but you need a reality check. Seriously, you need a reality check for once. For once. And what does that mean? I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you what that means as, as, as I wrap this up. Conservative commentator, commentator Eric, er, Eric Erickson explains to this when, according to his Twitter account, says, quote, If anything, Delta, Delta's actions against the NRA have a struck a blow against crony capitalism in Georgia. Does this ring bells to you, Casey Cagle? You call yourself a lieutenant governor in Georgia? You should be ashamed of yourself. Seriously, you should be ashamed of your own darn self. Because, because the moral of the, the moral of my political life video blog story is this: the NRA is is very is very very important. How to stop? How to stop killing people with guns and all that stuff? Don't you think you always gone too far enough, Casey Cagle? Boy, you got a problem, Casey Cagle. Yeah, you. You got a problem. So stop your whining and wake up the wake up the smell of, and shut up and wake up the smell of, smell the darn coffee. Since, since, since you know it's good for you, because Eric Erickson is right. You, Eric Erickson. No, 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 Erickson. You, Casey K. Kegel. Shut up. As for you, Delta Airlines, I'm ashamed of you. You cannot boycott in the NRA like that. Maybe some things you don't even know about flying an airplane. Fly the friendly skies. Yeah, of course. It really does. <laughs> yeah, like I said, shame on you. Thanks a lot, Brandon. Tread him. <laughs> Any, anyways. <laughs> I'll continue with this gun control issue and all that stuff probably tomorrow on my political life video blog and see what's happening next you know what I'm talking about anyways that's my political life video blog story and I'm sticking to it thank god I'm back miss me yes <laughs> see ya